Anyway, <laughs> you know, with training, we may have a technical method telling us what to do and giving us the potential to generate consistent results. But like the basketball player, without developing the appropriate mental skills, it's, it's unlikely we'll be able to do what our method or training plan is indicating, indicating without making a number of potential execution errors. In other words, to stay positively focused on the process of trading by doing exactly what we need to do, when we need to do it, without hesitation, reservation, or fear. Okay. That's interesting. So you see, no matter how good a technical method is at generating winning trades, turning those winners into a consistent income requires the ability to do or not do some things that the method itself can't help us with. For example, our method can't force us to predefine the risk of getting into a trade. Or if we do predefine the risk, our method can't force us to take the loss that ends up turning into a bigger loss. Right. And, and, you know, that's happened to everybody. Okay? Our method can't prevent us from moving a stop closer to our entry point where we get stopped out and the market trades back in our favor. Our method can't prevent us from hesitating and getting in too late. Or our method can't, can't stop us from jumping the gun and getting in too soon where the signal to actually get in never really develops. And our method can't stop us from getting out of a winning trade too soon and leave money on the table. Mm -hmm. Nor can it prevent us from letting a winning trade turn into a losing trade without having taken any profit. I know that all of our traders have experienced these issues. I, I know they have. And, and I think really what you're saying is that the methodology, and, and this methodology, folks, what we're talking about, we say the word methodology is the wise trade software. Is the, is, that's our method. And it can give us winning trades. We've seen, I know all of you have had winning trades, but it cannot give us consistent results if we're susceptible to making the kind of mental errors that you're talking about right. here. Okay? Exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And all the mental errors I just listed are the result of thinking, I'm saying, a result of thinking, believing, or assuming that our technical method is telling us what's going to happen next on a trade by trade basis and not understanding that technical methods aren't designed to do that. Right. Technical methods and patterns are designed to put the odds of success in our favor over a series of trades. It may not seem like it on the surface, but there's some profound psychological implications here. What this means is the outcome of the signals generated by any technical method on a trade-by-trade -trade basis are unique and random. In other words, there's no way to know in advance what the outcome to any particular signal will be or what the sequence of wins or losses will be over a series of trades. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I understand what you're saying. And I, I think, you know, um, we, we need to, first of all, know that many of our viewers out there are experiencing the same sort of thing, okay? Uh, and, and they're probably going to have some trouble grasping this concept that by accepting the randomness of these outcomes, they can produce consistent results. That's, that's an odd concept. Yeah, that's, but that's exactly what I'm saying, Jared. I know it's somewhat of a paradox to think that events that have a random outcome can produce a consistent result, but think about it. This is the principle that's been used by casinos for hundreds of years. Right. Technical methods and patterns will give the individual trader the same kind of advantage the casino has over the individual player. If if the trader can think about it from the proper perspective. On the other hand, if a trader who has, who, 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 let's say, who has uh, generated his signal from a technical method hasn't learned to integrate this principle, this randomness principle, into his trading regimen, he'll undoubtedly find that trading can be one of the most frustrating, if not exasperating, endeavors he's ever chosen to undertake. You know, and I know there are a lot of viewers out there who may be experiencing frustration. In fact, I know there are definitely viewers who are experiencing frustration, but I'm not sure if they're making the connection that the reason because, you know, they don't believe in this randomness principle where you can generate consistent returns by looking at the outcomes of their trades as random and unique. Right. They have to be able to view that as random and unique. You know, that, that's, I think, the big issue. No, I know, and that's, that's why we're here explaining it right now. You see, the frustration comes from expecting, from our expectations. It's from expecting something from our technical method. It just can't do. Technical methods define and identify patterns in collective human behavior. Right. Now, the patterns definitely exist. They repeat themselves over and over again. The problem is... The outcomes don't always correspond with the patterns on a trade-by-trade -trade basis. So what I'm saying is that, yes, we have patterns, yes, the, and, they, and they repeat themselves over and over, and our minds just naturally think, well, I have a pattern. 
that's consistent, I should have an outcome that's consistent with the pattern, right. and, and that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that there doesn't have to be a relationship between the outcome and the pattern. Right. So, and if the last trade was a winner, right. this trade, even if the charts are the same, right.